you know, that, that a corporation has the same rights as a human being. And many of the corporations in America are partially or largely owned by foreigners. So now those corporations under the Supreme Court ruling can give unlimited amount of money in secret to either Dem Democrats or Republicans. And so that has meant that in, in the campaigns, say for president, if you wanted to run for president now, you couldn't possibly be a, a Democratic or Republican nominee if you couldn't raise at least $250 million from corporations and from private com contributors. And every time one of those corporations gives you a contribution, they're going to want some special, you know, access or something in return when you get to be president. And many of the private contrib contributors do too. So that has changed dramatically. And, and now, in the election that was taking place, that took place last time, it was almost a billion dollars raised, a thousand billion dollars raised in the United States just for those. You know how much money I raised to run against Gerald Ford, who was the incumbent president? And you know how much Ford raised to run against me? The same. And four years later, when I ran against Governor Reagan for president, we raise zero. We, in, in the income tax returns, you can check a little thing that says, I give $2 for elections. And that's all the money we spend. So you see, this has changed things dramatically. And another thing that's changed dramatically in this country is that both Democrats and Republicans, if they get complete control of the state government, say the governor and the legislature, both Democrats or Republicans, they start changing the delineations of the congressional districts and also the senatorial districts and the legislative districts of the state to suit their party. And for instance, in Georgia, what the Republicans have done in the last 12 years, they put almost all the African-American voters in the same district, which leaves most of the districts in Georgia now so Republicans can win the seats. That's another thing that, that has happened. And, and, and so the advent of in, influx of money. When, when I ran against Gerald Ford and, and, and Bob Reagan again, we never dreamed of putting in a negative television commercial. If I had run a, a TV commercial critical of Gerald Ford, I would have lost the election. It would not have been accepted. But most, most of you would say, we don't like negative commercials, if you add it, if you add it. But the answer is, they work. So most of the commercials you see down here, for both sides, I'm not just really criticizing Republicans, both sides, they're negative, and that has changed. When I was president, I had just as much support from Republicans in the Congress as I did Democrats. And now there's hardly a Republican in the Congress that will vote for Obama's proposals. I had, I had a problem with the liberal Democrats because, because uh, Ted Kennedy, the last two years I was president, was running against me for for Democratic nomination. And so some of the liberal Democrats went with Ted Kennedy, so I had to depend on the moderate and conservative Democrats and the Republicans to put my programs through. And that's not any case anymore. It used to be that if, you, if I visited the Senate dining room, the U.S. Senate, the Republicans and Democrats would be sitting at the same tables. You hardly knew who was what. Now, that's not the case. You never see a Democrat senator sitting down at the same table with a Republican senator. And they hardly speak to each other. So our country has become polarized. There was no such thing when I was president of blue states and, and red states. Every one of the states was kind of a battleground where you had to go in and campaign. I went to every state in America when I ran for president. Uh, in, in 2008, in 2012, rather, uh, President Obama never came to Georgia to campaign because he thought it was going to go red anyway. So, you know, so things have changed a lot, I say, for the worst. And, and so I don't, I don't know how it's going to be corrected. The only way you can correct problems is what I said earlier, get out and vote, and, and for a candidate that you think will correct the problems that bothers you. Well, let me close by saying, uh, I, I'm on the way next to Sandersville. My wife spent last night in Augusta, and she was, I met with her yesterday in Columbus, and then she went to Macon and then Augusta. And she's on the way back to Atlanta now. We, we're, we're kind of participating ourselves for the first time in many, many years in a, in a political campaign and having a good time. But one of the best things about it is having a chance to come back to one of my favorite education institutions on earth that helped me since the time I was a little boy, as I said, and still helped me 
and that's how you back. Thank God for a back. Thank you for letting me.